Good morning all. Am I audible? Welcome all of you. Please respond whether the audio video is clear. Yes. Am I audible? Welcome all of so, you. Yeah, this is the last lecture in this course on non-verbal ability. 10 more lectures will be there for verbal ability of gate. Non-verbal ability is common for mo most of the exams like gate, CSAR, set exam. Uh, some aspects are same in set exams and other exams. So that non-verbal ability we are concluding by this lecture. 40 lectures are completed by today. So please share uh, those of you missed the lectures. You can check the playlist in this description of this video where you can find all the previous sessions this is the 40th lecture in the series it was a full length complete course for gate general aptitude as i told yesterday i hope this course was useful if so tell your opinions about this course some of you have mentioned it yesterday in the comments thank you so much for taking time for that and others also what you felt about this course please let us know in the through the description of this video and we will share a link also in the groups so that you can respond to that uh, link and this course is common for those who are watching this live or recorded this is common for all gate aspirants so if any of your friends who are preparing for gate 2023 or planning to write 2024 gate you can share this link to them 2023 previous year questions once the exam is completed I will upload that solutions also in this channel itself. So, um, and uh, for the new people, this is the bio of me and this is the Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. This is the general Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. For this course only, there is another group, Telegram channel, sorry, another Telegram channel that is there in the description of this video. You can be part of that and all the study materials. Yeah, those, the missing study materials I have uploaded today morning, you can check it out. Now, I think data interpretation only study materials are pending. That also I will upload today uh, after completing this chapter. So, all those study materials you can access and the flashcards and other free resources and quizzes and everything you can access through the Telegram channel. So, be part of that also those of you want to learn more for general aptitude test. So, let us start. Today we are discussing a miscellaneous data interpretation question. Data interpretation itself but not like bar chart, pie chart, histogram. Some other data representations are done like this. This is not a called any tool. It is just visualized. The situation is visualized. So try this. This was asked in 2019. All of you try this. Very good question this is. I yeah, will give you timer just like we do normally. 2 minutes will be enough in these kinds of questions because they are not very time consuming if you are using the right method. I will teach you the right method in case you have doubt. But first make an attempt all of you. And invite your friends please let more people join this last uh, live lecture in this uh, non-verbal ability course. Okay, the timer is not running. Please post your answer now in the chat.
Swati got C. All of you try. Okay, so I'll explain. Five people, P, Q, R, S, T, work in a bank. P and Q don't like each other, but have to share the office till T get promotion and moves to a big office next to the garden. So currently, uh, P and Q are uh, sharing the same office. So P and Q sharing the same office. Let us check each option whether P and Q are sharing the same office or not. Yes, P and Q are sh sharing the same office here, here also, here also. But here they are not sharing the same office. That is not correct. Na? So, option D is clearly eliminated because question says the current position is P and Q sharing the uh, office. Question is finally asking what is the current location of QRT. Not only QRT, current location of P and S also should be satisfied. Na? So, P and Q should be in the same office. That is true in first three cases, but not in option D. So, elimination is very important here. I told you when I started data interpretation unit, weeding out wrong options is very important in data interpretation chapter also, just like many other chapters. Being flexible with different methods, I told you the importance of that. That is very important. Okay. So, now, R who is currently staying with T, R is currently with T. Among the options, which all option says R is with T? Option C may R T ke saath hai. Yaha pe deko R S ke saath hai. T ke saath nahi hai. T and R are in different offices. So that is wrong. Yaha pe deko R here and T here. R and T are not in the same office. So that is also eliminated. And that itself finishes the question. Na? Option C is the only option which satisfies PQRT's arrangement. That is enough to finish. So, um, T wants to move with adjacent office with S, but that is just a wish of T. Currently, T is with R. So, option C. Yeah, the remaining sentences are just to give a build up to the question, just to make the question look lengthy. But it is very silly question if you use elimination. Hope that is clear. And this same type gate 2019 the same type question was asked in two more set of question paper in 2020 also it was asked sorry in 2020 it was repeated try this read the question carefully and answer The telegram channel link is uh, tagged in the live chat also. If you want to be part of the exclusive telegram channel we pro where we provide all the free study material associated with this course and other free resources we upload, you can access there. Some of you got C option. Let's see. 
After the inauguration of, a, of the new building, the head of the department, HOD, collated, collated means collected uh, faculty preferences for office space. P wanted a room adjacent to the lab. Adjacent to the lab means touching the lab. So, where is the lab? Look at the option lab here. Adjacent means this is the only room adjacent to the lab. These are opposite to the lab na, and they are adjacent to playground. Adjacent means it is touching. That is P and lab should touch. Sorry, this room and lab is touching. The other room is that is not a room. That is a lift. So, here only P can come. In this option Q is coming here. P is not adjacent to lab. P is adjacent to playground. So, option B is readily eliminated. This is okay. This is okay with respect to P's position. Subco clear hai pick up, pick up position okay hai in A, C and D. So, B is eliminated. Subco clear hai na? Kyoki B, B may P adjacent to playground hai lab nahi. Now, uh, Q wanted to be close to the lift. Close to the lift means which is the closest point to the lift? Yeah, because other rooms are more far away from lift. So the closest will clearly be closest be clearly be this location. So already this is eliminated for, by the first sentence. Now Q being here is what is mentioned, but Q is not here. So option A is eliminated. Q is far away from the lift. Now here also Q is not. Uh, yeah, this is already eliminated. This is okay. Q is near to the left. Q is near to the left. So that is why C and D only are remaining after Q's position is satisfied. R wanted the view of the playground and S wanted the corner office. View of the playground means adjacent to playground. Because from here the view will not be there because this is blocking. Yeah, you should have that idea. So Q view of the playground is there in all both the remaining options so that is okay finally r wanted the view of the playground and s wanted the corner office corners the only three corner offices are there this this and this so s should be in one of them here it is okay but here s is not in the corner office hod q and p are in the corner office that is not okay s should be in the corner office now one of the corner office s should occupy S is in the corner of his in option C. So, option C satisfies all the condition in the question. So, option C is the answer. All of you understood now how to do this kind of questions. If that is clear, let us go to the next question. 2019, one more question was there in another set. This was that question. 19 and 20 question came like this. Try this carefully. Two minutes to try. I think many people are not aware that today's class is 10 o'clock because normally we take class at 11. So, if any of your friends don't know it, who are attending this session, please share the link to them. Let them know that the class has started live session. Okay, some of you got an answer. Let's see whether it is right. Three of the friends allocated to a hostel put in a put in special request to the warden. Given the floor plan of the vacant room, select the allocation plan that will accommodate all their requests. Request by X. Due to pollen allergy, I want to avoid the wing next to the garden. 
wing next to the garden there are two gardens for example if you fix the first image first option garden there are two gardens next to the garden means this is next to the garden yeah this is the only room that is next to the garden they are occupying yeah this is also next to the garden this is also next to the garden these three rooms x don't want so x being in any of these three rooms are not okay yeah next to the garden means these two only sorry my mistake these two only this and this because this is not next there is something blocking so wing next to the garden means this is the wing next to the garden that means here x is occupying that wing question is saying that um, everyone's request should be uh, taken care of will accommodate all their request but x's request is not taken care of so option b is eliminated here it is okay x is not here here it is okay x is not here so option b only is eliminated now try the next sentence i want to live as far away from washroom as possible since i am very sensitive to smell as far away from washroom look at the first image washroom here wr is washroom so as far away means this is very close this is also not very close but not as far away as far away is this position isn't it look at the sorry this and uh, yeah this is the position which is this much away from here and this much away from here and uh, just a minute there are two washrooms now so you should be careful Yeah, this is also fine. Far away from washroom. Yeah, this, but the problem is this washroom, it is closer. So, yeah, these two only are, are, are accept, acceptable by that idea. As far away from washroom means these two are okay because these are far away from both the washrooms. Both the washroom you should consider. But here option B is okay with that. And uh, but option B is already eliminated because option B uh, dub X cannot occupy here. And option C is okay with that. Option D is okay with that. Option A is not okay with that because this is somewhat closer to washroom. So, option A can be eliminated. As far away from washroom as possible is mentioned. Please respond. Is that clear? Now, two options only are remaining. Now, check, check the request by Z. I believe in Vastu and so want to stay in the southwest wing. Yeah, your direction idea also is briefly needed. We have discussed distance and direction chapter. Southwest means south and west in between wing. That means this wing is called southwest wing. That you should understand. Z want to occupy southwest wing means Z should be either here or here. But option C is not having Z in any of those. But this is okay. This is southwest wing. Southwest wing means this wing. So Z is occupying that. All conditions are satisfied in option D only. So option D is the correct answer. Did you all understand this? Please respond. respond. Clear. If that is clear, let's go to the next question. So, as I told, the power of elimination is very, very important and you should practice elimination wherever possible. Some question elimination is not possible or elimination is not the best method. But being flexible with methods, in previous classes also I told you, being flexible with methods is very important. These are the 15 methods by which you can do general aptitude questions better. So, these methods. Uh, directly indirectly we have discussed throughout the chapters separate lectures of mine are available in youtube where i have explained shortcut methods shortcut approaches for general aptitude you can search uh, yeah all my previous classes not only in this channel i have given in youtube more than maybe i think more than thousand sessions in different platforms together so you can just search general aptitude with Christy Vergus or general aptitude by Christy Vergus. You will find the playlist of mine in other platforms also which I have given. 
not only in this channel more than this channel I have given sessions in other channels also that you can google and find it just search general aptitude with Christy Vergas and my Vedic math classes if you want to check out Vedic math with Christy Vergas if you search you will find and the upcoming uh, months or upcoming years I am planning to give more classes for different areas and different competitive exams so that also you can check out later when in case you need so these 15 approaches are very important this 15 approaches detailed explanations of this check out the dedicated lectures but uh, indirectly we have discussed about most of these methods in one chapter or the other so try the next question another miscellaneous question where the data is totally different from the previous questions try this carefully Okay, some of you got option B. Let us see whether it is right. The point in the given graph represents the halts of a lift for durations for one minute over a period of one hour. Which of the following statements are correct? Okay, I will explain the meaning of this data when represented. So, time is given in this axis 0 to 60 minutes and floor number where the lift is halting or staying that is mentioned and each dot means 1 minute also is mentioned. 1 minute is the duration the lift holds. So, 1 dot means for this 1 minute the lift was in 0 the floor or ground floor. Ground floor we say then first, second, third for that is how we follow in India. Na. Yeah, in different countries. Uh, ground floor and uh, first floor are different actually but here it is mentioned 0 is the ground floor from there we start 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 0 in the ground floor for 1 minute then from there directly jumping or directly going to fifth floor and staying there 1 minute 1 more minute 2 minutes isn't it then from fifth fifth floor the lift is going down to the ground floor again and stay there for 1 plus 1 2 minutes maybe someone is waiting to enter that is why or someone more people are entering that is why 2 minutes it wait, waited whatever be the reason then from there it directly go to fourth floor and 3 minutes it waited there then from there ground floor again 1 minute then fifth floor 1 minute ground floor 1 minute then third floor 3 minutes it stayed in th third floor then coming down to ground floor Again, fourth floor, four minutes, ground floor, second floor, ground floor, two minutes, fourth floor, three minutes and so on. Now, you understood the meaning of the data, na? those of you who are confused about the meaning of the data. Yes, then 
Let us check each options. Statement 1, the elevator never moves directly from any non-ground floor, so that is non-zero floor to another non-zero floor over the one hour period. That means it is saying that it has never gone from non-zero to non-zero means it has gone only from zero to a non-zero or non-zero to zero only. Non-zero to non-zero is not there. Let us check non-zero to non-zero is not there or not. Here zero to non-zero, non-zero to zero. Here all these it is non-zero to non-zero, zero only or zero to non-zero only. But you can see an exception here. Yeah, look at this minute. That is precisely speaking that is the 20, 28th minute. 28th minute it was on the second floor. 29th minute it is going to the fifth floor. That is non-zero, second to fifth. Non-zero to non-zero. No? Elevator never moves is means not even one instance should be there. But already one instance is there. Whether there is more instance that is not our problem. Never moves is totally wrong. No? It moves at least once. All of you understood why option statement 1 is not correct. Now statement 2. Let us check statement 2. What is statement 2? Elevator stays on the fourth floor for the longest duration over the one hour period. Fourth floor longest duration means each dots are one minute I told you. How many dots are in fourth floor? 1, 2, 3 plus 4, 7, 10, 12, 15, 17, 19. That means 19 dots means 19 minutes. 19 dots means 19 minutes. Look at other um, floors. When you look at other floors, zero of the floor look more dots. Let us count it. 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 11, 12, 14, 16, 20, 18, 20, 23, 23 minutes. It is staying in zero the floor. 23 is more than 19. Na? Elevator stays on fourth floor for the longest duration is wrong. Elevator stays on the ground floor for the longest duration is the correct statement. So this is also wrong statement. So neither one nor two. Some of you got statement option D that is totally correct. I hope all of you are clear. So that is a totally different data interpretation question. Na? Question can be asked in whichever way they want. And this you can try as homework. This is also different like a network system. Network problems. Now another type that was asked in uh, gate 2017 multiple times it was asked. So I will give you one or two examples of this also. Contour lines. How to did uh, di how to interpret a contour lines that I will teach you. Make a try first. If you are not getting also make a try. After that I will explain in detail. Or I will show you another question of the same type. Yeah, try this first. Try this first. Then I will come back to that previous question. Because that will be easier to understand.
okay some of you got an answer option c option d okay first of all some people may have try uh, followed this trace is up down up that is why you got option d which is a totally wrong answer yeah just imagine will see will uh, will gate ask such a question whether you know this is up <laughs> this is down this is up no right there is like very less chance for that so if you don't know contour lines also that simple may not be the answer that you can guess that is my point so what is the meaning actually this contour line i think in you in your geography textbook you have seen this we may not have learned it in detail but you have seen contour lines in your geography textbook 7th 8th standard and in news channels and all you see when weather uh, related news are there this contour lines are there earth science students or geology students more uh, can give more inputs in case any geology uh, based or geology background students are there you can comment more about uh, contour lines my understanding i will tell you a contour line joins locations having the same height ha ha above the sea level so this thing you can think in three dimension three dimension how yeah this is a two dimensional uh, image but let us think in three dimension this p here you can see 515 huh? here you can see 500 that means and question says that contour lines are shown in 25 meter interval that means in between there will be 4, 525 500 525 550 so what will be this can you comment what will be this line 575 now 25 more and below that will be 575 that means this is you can think it like this step by step one step over another step over another step over another step like in three dimension you imagine like three dimension you can imagine like this the topmost is 575 this is 575 p is above that like p is here 575 above then then q yeah other people where they are we will see we will see so 575 is here <coughs> sorry I have a slight cold. Uh, sorry. So, uh, 575 is the topmost top topmost level. Then 550. Then 525. Then 500. Then 475. Then 450. Then 425. Likewise, it is going in intervals of 25. So, what you need to do is you can just step by step think. If this is 575, 25 meter below 550 is there, 25 meter below 525 is there, 25 meter below 500 is there, 25 meter below 475 is there. That is represented here. Are you understanding that point? So, tell me where is P above 575 now? Where is Q? Yeah, Q is somewhere away, but here also you can see that same uh, step by step uh, imagination you can do. 550 is here and this line is 575 this line is 575 means this will be 525 na? 575 575 550 525 and this will be 500 it is mentioned also here 500 that means q is between 525 and 550 so 525 and 550 so q is here are you understanding q is there and where is r tell where is yeah p and q only are there na? two things yeah there was another question so now look at the graph you will understand better from p it is going this way that means from 575 to 550 to 525 to 500 to this is 475 then 475 this is 500 na? this region is entire region is 475 and 500 in between then 500 is there that means first it is traveling from 575 550 525 500 475 after that it is increasing after 475 then 500 525 it is entering here now it is entering here 525 550 5, 575 500 525 550 575 that is it again reach the top from there 575 it is going downward again 575 to 550 region 
550 region 525 region so 550 525 region finally it is reaching 525 region q is above 525 now that means this is all up this is all down sorry down and this is all up up and this is all down so down up down is the order option c how many of you understood can you please respond in the chat whether you are clear or not down up down as i told you have to think like different levels that is represented using contour lines yeah you can google it and learn more about contour lines this very interesting representation this is another data representation tools i told about major data representation tools in the last three classes pie charts bar chart histogram uh, sorry pie chart bar charts tables which is most commonly repeated but there are other tools also which comes very rarely that all i am adding in this session miscellaneous data interpretation question then to make your concepts more clear try this question the data is almost similar to previous question try it all of you Sorry, it was muted. Okay, so I was telling that uh, contour lines, this is this data is similar to the previous question itself, 25 meter interval itself and it is told about a flood which where the water level rises to 525 meter. That means water is still 525 meter. So, anything below 525 meter will be submerged. Na? Question is asking which of the villages PQRST gets submerged. So, the question is asking which of the villages PQRST is below 525 meter. All of you are understanding that, please respond. Below 525 meter. So, just like previous question, we will represent. We will represent this. 525, 500, 20, 25 meter difference now. 475, 450, 425, etc. Yeah, for 450 coffee here. And above 525, 500. 550 sorry 550 575 
Now P is this is 550, this is 575, and this is 525, 25 meter interval. So 575 above is P. So P is here. So P will not be submerged. R is between this is 500 contour line, this is 450 in between. So 500, 450. So that is a, a, anyway submerged now. 475, sorry. 475. So R will be below anyway. So R will be somewhere here. And where will be T? Between 500 and 525. This is 525. Nah? So T is below 525. Between 500 and 525. So T is also will be T will also be submerged. What about Q? Q is above 525 and below 550. This is 550. This is 525. So between 525 and 550. So it is above 525. So Q will not submerge. Which other P, Q, R, S is there. This is 450, this is 475 because next is for 500 now. It is, sorry, this is for 425. This is 425. 450 and 425 in between. That means S is here. So S will also be submerged. So which three are submerging? Submerging ones will be T, R and S. P and Q will not submerge. T, R, S, that is option C, R, S, T. All clear? That is how to analyze a contour line based question. One more question I will give you contour lines and then we will go to another type. Yeah, this one. Or this is very similar. You can try this as homework. I will share the slides in the study material. Try this. And the contour line question. So the question is little different. But what I have taught you if you understood. I think you may be able to understand this question and answer. Okay, listen, an air pressure contour line, here it is air pressure, it is not the position of the villages or anything like the previous question, here the air pressure is represented. Uh, having locations in a region having the same atmospheric pressure are joined, that means for example, P's atmospheric pressure will be where? Between 0 0.9 and 0 0.95, between that will be, yeah, P is not covered, yeah, P is covering this entire region actually. P is covering that entire region. That means P's air pressure varies from 0.85 to 0.9 to 0.95. Oh, three regions um, vary. Kar hai na. Three regions may P hai. That is why three air pressures vary, variation are there in region P. The following contour lines are shown at 0.05. In the question, mein 25 meter hai to yaha pe 0 0.05 bar intervals. Mein hai. Air pressure hai isli. If the possibility of a thunderstorm is given by. So a thunderstorm, yeah, as you know, air pressure difference creates thunderstorm. Na? So thunderstorm is given by how fast the air pressure rises or drops over a region. How fast means 
more variation more faster it is na all regions are identical region so more variations more air pressure difference are there more uh, uh, likely it is to have thunderstorm na that is the meaning that means for example p what happens to p as i told three regions three pressure regions are there 0.95 point 0.9 point 0.85 point and what about q q air pressure is more or less the same itself 0.8 to 0.75 that only one region it is crossing but s is crossing one two regions 0.95 to point 0.95 to 1 and uh, 0.95 to 0.9 two regions are occupied what about r look at r it is having 1 2 3 4 5 regions so the air pressure five regions it is changing that is namely if you want to tell the names 0 0.6 0 0.65 0 0.7 0 0.75 0 0.8 0 0.85 please respond all of you are you understanding this once you got this idea it is very simple but you should tell whether you are getting this contour line idea or not let me check the chat exactly are in them all of you clear please respond those of you are watching recording also Please respond, are you understanding this concept or not? So, simply speaking, pressure rise or drop, uh, how fast means, which question is asking, which region is crossing maximum contour lines? R is crossing 1, 2, 3, 4 lines, P only 2, Q only no contour lines it is touch, cutting. S only 1. So, R is crossing maximum. So, R is the answer. All of you clear now? Very good question now. I hope you now got a basic idea how to interpret contour lines. If you google it, you can get more info. And when you see contour line next time, just get to uh, try to see that. If contour line idea was new to you, for many of you it is already known idea. But looking at the answer options you have posted, I think for many of you it is a new idea. Because initially the options you have uh, answered was wrong but if it is a new idea please try to learn more about it and try to uh, yeah when you see in newspaper or news channel or anywhere contour lines now try to interpret that graph also just like table pie chart bar chart now you should be able to interpret a contour line also when you see one okay so that is also clear so this is a homework question for you of this of the similar type this one you yeah this one try which is that this one this one you can try later same type itself okay in miscellaneous data interpretation sometimes in gate mathematical graphs are also given where it's like hybrid question data interpretation and your knowledge of algebra or knowledge of other areas of mathematics is also needed for example this question gate 2018 problem it is not very frequently asked but once in a while they have asked this type of questions also. Yeah, the title of that title was meant not correct. Now I have corrected the title.
Okay, so I will explain. Yeah, before that one more announcement. We have started a short uh, YouTube short series in this channel for, for teaching Vedic Maths. In very short time, you can learn Vedic Matrix using that short video series. Already two lectures are uploaded. Uh, those of you who haven't seen it, try to check it out in this channel. In the clicking on the shorts tab, you can see that. Uh, and uh, let me know or let us know what you felt about that short series. Uh, we are planning to upload more if the response from students are more. So please take your time uh, in case you are interested in learning uh, Vedic Maths. Try to do that. Uh, Yaman, we will plan some rev revision series in either this channel. I don't know whether we will get time. Uh, otherwise, in Unacademy free classes also I will try to as I am currently teaching in Unacademy also through free classes I will try to give. Otherwise, just download previous year question most yeah a good amount of or good percentage of previous questions are already discussed in the class some are i have given homework so wo homework question se bhi practice shuru kar sakta hai or extra question se to google me search kiya to bhi milega or i will try to put some more practice questions in the study group cell study cell study i mean um, there are books also you can buy any book which is uh, good for uh, gate general aptitude through that also you can get enough practice questions first complete the previous year question that is what i will suggest you okay this question elimination will be the better method which of the following function describe the graph shown in the given figure yeah what is this graph look at this let us familiarize get familiarized with the graph when x is zero y is also zero when x is 1, y is minus 1. When x is 2, y is 0. x is 3, y is 1. And x is minus 1, y is uh, minus 1. x is minus 2, y is 0. Yeah, you are able to interpret the graph now. Normally, gate exam line graphs directly are not asked. Line graph based on mathematical graphs only are asked. So, there line graph, I hope all of you are familiar how to interpret it. Anyway, let us check each option by substituting options substituting examples let us put yeah the easy example is let x equal to 0 x equal to 0 hai to, 0 plus 1 modulus modulus means i have discussed in previous class 0 plus 1 uh, 1 1 modulus is 1 1 minus 2 is minus 1 is is 1 giving minus 1 let us check 1 x1 y is minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is a valid example so, 1 gives minus 1. So, option A is okay with respect to that. Similarly, 1 minus 1 minus 1. 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1 is again minus 1. So, that is also okay. 1 plus 1, 2. 1 modulus is 1 now. 1 plus 1, 2 minus 1. That is, all, that is 1. That is not acceptable. Did you all understood how we eliminated option C? Because option C is giving you 1. If x is 1, y cannot be 1. Y should be minus 1 according to the graph. Are you all understanding? Yemen, please check out the previous lectures in this video. You will understand the difficulty level and all because difficulty level is subjective. Some people feel one chapter is difficult, another person uh, feels other chapter is difficult. Okay, all of you listen to the explanation now. So, it's not clear hai na why option C is not Option D is one substitute. Karke check I am substitute. Sorry. Okay, I made a mistake. Na. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We are substituting 0 initially. Put x equal to 0 first. Let's see which one option. 0 hai to y b 0 hana chahiye na. So, 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 minus 2. 0 plus 1, 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, 0 should give y is 0. Because from the graph we know that. So, definitely option A is eliminated when you put x equal to 0. x equal to 0 if you put here. 0 minus 1. 1 minus 1 modulus is plus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 is 0. That is okay. X equal to 0 should give y, y equal to 0. Here also, 0 plus 1 minus 1. That is 0. That is also okay. 0 minus 1 minus 1. That is 0 minus 1 modulus. That is minus 1 modulus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. That is also okay. So, first option is eliminated. Three options are remaining. Now, put x equal to 1. x equal to 1. What is y? y is minus 1 y is minus 1. There are mathematical methods but 
for everyone to understand easily i am focusing on the illumination technique which if you practice well is also fine to do this question very fast x equal to 1 y should be minus 1 this is already eliminated remaining options check kariye remaining options check kiya to 1 minus 1 1 modulus is 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 that is okay 1 plus 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 that is not okay it should be minus 1 so option c is eliminated a and c is gone now option d 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 modulus is plus 1 it should not be plus 1 it should be minus 1 so option d is also eliminated c is also eliminated a is already eliminated so option b is the answer so those of you are feeling that mathematical graphs are difficult elimination will make it easy <coughs> in my opinion is that clear to all of you please respond yes Aman. if time allows try more practice question so should we check that depends omkar sometimes one value will eliminate three options there you can stop if one value does not eliminate two, uh, three options you have to continue it is not to verify whether our answer is correct we are doing second value no first value was not enough to eliminate three options that is why we continued we are weeding out wrong options na? as i have told before this 15 approaches the idea five of them are elimination techniques elimination technique eliminations elimination technique the ba basic idea is we are removing what is not the correct answer and whatever remains is the correct answer we are not proving that is the correct answer we are only disproving others are not correct that approach both important eh? elimination technique use karna so this is an example of a mathematical graphs there are multiple times mathematical graphs were asked this was a similar question you can try as homework if possible i will give solutions also for this but i need time to prepare the solution in few days i will upload uh, the solutions also for this if you want if you feel that these graphs are difficult this is another again same idea you can use put values and see and this also you can try so these were the major questions asked yeah, i think we can conclude here so i hope you got an idea about this uh, this uh, topic also so i think we can conclude here once again this is the last lecture in the non verbal ability topic and do let me know how you felt about this lecture and this course also Non-verbal ability we are concluding, verbal ability we will soon start, yeah there is some technical difficulty due to which it was not started today and today also it will not be started, maybe in one or two days only we will start it, but before your gate exam that course will be completed. If possible I will also teach, otherwise as I told I have assigned one of my friends who is an expert who can teach you better ver no, verbal ability part, the English part. But non-verbal ability is a part that is common for many exam. If you are preparing for CSCR and other exams also, this non-verbal ability part will be enough. So, and uh, yeah, please take an effort to cope, uh, to share this playlist to maximum people who want to prepare for GATE or any other competitive exam. Copy this playlist and save it somewhere or you visit this profile. Uh, this YouTube channel whenever you want and copy the playlist and share it to maximum people spread the word as I told yesterday if free courses you are able to spread more definitely educators also will be encouraged to start more free courses many people say okay paid courses educators are focusing on paid courses only that is because they also they also have their own problems or they also have their own survival needs na so or they also have uh, they also have to survive this in this field so definitely paid courses are also important but free courses any educator can start there are two yeah youtube also provides money if the channel is big but channels like mine are not very big channel where the uh, uh, monetization is the factor by which they can take the class no to be frank uh, the monetization aspect of the channel is very less that uh, yeah literally like um, very less amount for uh, like ad revenue or anything is not there actually in channels where it doesn't cross 
a limit yeah maybe in the future when the limit of subscribers are increasing and all then definitely the channel monetization monetization is already there but uh, what i'm saying is this course is not based on the money from youtube by which i am able to complete this course this course was purely based on i want to give a complete course i want more people to learn gate general aptitude or general aptitude through a free platform itself and that was my try and i was successful to complete 40 lectures in between as i told due to health issues and other uh, issues i was not able to continue uh, due to the tight schedule of classes and many reasons but somehow i was able to complete and those who are watching recorded you will not understand any difference in schedule or anything but uh, it was very difficult to maintain the schedule i continued tried to continue 11 o'clock itself most of the days out of this 40 lectures i think almost 35 of the lectures at 11 o'clock itself was the class only four or five lectures i had taken 10 o'clock or 10:30 or one lecture in the evening also i guess so uh, anyway uh, thanks to all people who stood with me for making this course a success and try to share this video to maximum people share this playlist to maximum people let more people know about it and let youtube also know about how this course was through the comment section youtube will also know that is how the algorithm works also when there is more interaction to a video or when is, there is a more interaction to a playlist youtube also promotes that to more people so take an effort if you felt this was useful for you do spread the word if it is not useful don't share it but if it is useful uh, uh, it will be nice if you can mention it what you felt about the course honest reviews are welcome it is you don't have to mention that it was good only whatever was not good or whatever not, was not up to the mark that also you are welcome to express because uh, that will help in the future courses what we can do better that also we will know i will try to provide a link also in the groups if possible uh, comment or uh, mention what you felt about the course in that link also uh thank you arindam okay so that's it let's conclude the lecture here or conclude non verbal ability here verbal ability if possible few lectures at least i will take uh, other lectures other educator will be taking uh, i will update you in the group stay tuned and all the previous study materials uploaded also you can find in the media section telegram of the telegram channel in the description of this video there are two telegram channels general telegram channel of general aptitude and gate general aptitude specific telegram channel gate general aptitude specific telegram channel mein ye course ka study material upload kiya hai so that's it thank you all take care all of you have a good day Uh, all the best for your gate exam and after gate exam please let us know how you did gate exam and um, uh, that will be good uh, that uh, will be happy to know about how you were able to do aptitude section how you were able to do your uh, gate exam in general also so all the best for your preparation make use of the remaining time to prepare well for your gate exam and all the best for your upcoming other exams also and people who are preparing for other competitive exam all the best for that also thank you take care bye bye have a good day